I'm Jay Bradner from the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Among all genes which contribute to the pathogenesis of cancer, CMYK is among the most prolific. Upstream or genetic activation of CMYK is observed in the majority of human cancers, causing cell division, tumor cell survival, and metabolic adaptation. To date, therapeutic strategies to target CMYK do not exist, owing to perceptions regarding its drug ability. Structural studies of CMYK fail to identify a hydrophobic pocket into which discovery chemists might fashion an organic small molecule. Therefore, we pursued an alternative strategy to target the expression of the MYC gene and its downstream function as our master regulator of the transcriptional growth program. In many blood cancers, MYC gene expression is driven by chromosomal rearrangements, which position very active enhancers nearby the MYC gene resulting in overexpression. In this study, we report a strategy to block the transcriptional signal to and from the CMYK oncoprotein using a new class of drug molecules from our laboratory called bromodomain inhibitors. Bromodomains are so-called epigenetic reader proteins that mark regions containing express gene among cellular chromatin. When bromodomains bind to acetylated lysine residues on histone tails, they trigger a multitude of cellular functions, notably increased gene expression. Our prior research resulted in the discovery of JK1, a thionodiazopine compound that specifically binds to the bromodomain and the extra terminal subfamily, which includes proteins BRD2, 3, 4, and T high shape complementarity between JK1 and these bromodomains contributes to the high potency of our small molecule. For this reason, JK1 is a useful chemical probe for the study of bromodomains in both cellular and in vivo models of several cancers, including not melan carcinoma and in this manuscript, multiple myeloma. I'm Konstantin Mitsiadis with the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Multiple myeloma, the second most commonly diagnosed hematologic malignancy in the Western world, represents an ideal setting to study the bad bromodomain MYC interaction and its therapeutic implications. Indeed, MYC activation through genetic and microenvironment dependent mechanisms is a highly recurrent and consistent theme in this disease. In vitro treatment of multiple myeloma cells with JQ1 significantly suppresses the transcriptional signatures of MYC dependent genes in our study. Surprisingly, JQ1 also caused an early, sustained, and pronounced suppression of MYC transcript itself. Interestingly, BRD4 is enriched at immunoglobulin enhancer sites to which MYC is juxtaposed in myeloma cells. However, JQ1 depletes BRD4 from these sites. Consistent with its effect on MYC expression and function, JQ1 has anti-proliferative effects against myeloma cells with diverse underlying genetic mechanisms of MYC dysregulation. Importantly, JQ1 had in vivo activity in three different models of myeloma, including an orthotopic model of diffuse advanced disease and the vcap mic model of stochastic AID-dependent conditional activation of MYC. Together, these studies illustrate a pharmacologic strategy for targeting the expression and function of CMYK in cancer by inhibiting chromatin-dependent signal transduction. Coordinated downregulation of the transcriptional growth program prompts cell cycle arrest and cellular senescence. Most importantly, these studies establish a compelling mechanistic rationale for the clinical development of drug-like derivatives of JQ1 as MYC inhibitors, alone or in combination for the treatment of patients with multiple myeloma and potentially other MYC-dependent cancers.